Hello, Peter checking in again. This is the Meditation and Science series, and today we're going to be looking at laughter meditation. <laughs> laughter meditation. <laughs> 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 laughter meditation. <laughs> We're going to be we're going to be looking at laughter meditation. What is laughter meditation? Well, this this is laughter meditation. You laugh, yeah. So I haven't really found any studies on that. But it, what does laughter do? There's so many benefits to laugh laughter. And you look at the yogis and the masters. How quickly they can snap into laughter. Uh, I know such guru is very good. He just he's always giggling. <laughs> And my goodness me, is it is it good? Yes. When I train to be a Dan master, um, I've been a Dan master now for two years under the body and brain uh, method, which is the brain education method. And we did 45 minutes of non-stop laughing as hard as you possibly can. 45 minutes of laughter, like that, what I just did. But 40, 45 minutes of it, oh, it hurt. It really, really began to hurt. But after doing that, the cleansing was, the cleansing feeling was incredible. You, you, because you're laughing so deeply and hard, you're vibrating all your internal organs, you're vibrating your chakra system, you're vibrating your meridians. You felt like you could take on the world. Really incredible stuff. So it, it's releasing all the negative stuff and bringing in all the good stuff so you're laughing again. We're, we're meant to laugh together. We're, and I'm astonished at myself because I, I, I love laughter. I love, I do, I love it. I love laughing with, e with, with each other. And I want to stop laughing at people, but laughing with them now. Because you laugh at what's going on with the government and things like that, and you think, this is terrible. And you've got to laugh at it, because if you don't, it's terrible. <laughs> But you, yourself, can do laughter meditation. Find yourself something funny to watch and then learn those feelings of laughter and then do it again. Laugh again. Find something that triggers your laughter and then do it again and then do it again and do it again. Keep laughing until you can laugh naturally, quite quickly, which is really a good thing. So I, I didn't really find too many good studies on laughter meditation. I'm sure there is. If you do, please, Put them in the comments because that would be very interesting for me. I'm always interested in seeing how these things are developing because we're starting to learn what it really is to be a human being and not being a conditioned cyborg, which is where we're moving to. Moving towards being a cyborg, or do you want to move towards being a human being? Cyborg, human being, cyborg, down, human being, up. <laughs> Laughter, up, cyborg, down. <laughs> so laughter meditation really, really does help. And we would, we would do it in our Qigong classes. And I still do occasionally, not, not, not that much, but people are shocked when you first start doing it. But after a while, doing two or three minutes of laughter, people are really, really getting, and then they start pointing at each other and they're laughing with each other. It's a beautiful thing, absolutely beautiful thing. Why not? Why not come together through laughter? Because laughter really is cleansing. It's deep cleansing, deep meditation. And people think meditating is just sitting there and going, mm -hmm, or not even making a noise, just silently. Now there's, there's a bit to that. Yep, yep, that's certainly part of the whole school of meditation, as it were, is the silent meditation. And I've got silent meditation as part of the five stepping stones of transformation I've got in my dream method meditation course that I'm running online which is mainly me as a coach at the moment so if you want to try that you can go to the webinar and have a look it's all it's a coaching program at the moment but I'm going to bring it on to line where you can do it all on your own at your own pace without my interaction at all which might be better for you so do hang around because that will be coming soon and but 
it would be that show you the the importance of silent meditation, but the build up towards silent meditation. And I haven't really got laughter meditation in there, but it's important to think about meditation and laughter. Laughter is like a meditation. Because what are you thinking about when you're really having a belly laugh? What are you thinking about? Re analyze next time you have a really big belly laugh. Think about what you're thinking of, and it, you'll be so in that moment. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in the moment, right in the moment. Oh, is that a deep meditation? Yes, enormously deep meditation. It's you being right there in the moment. Your mind, your body, your breath, your whole persona, everything's in that moment, which is wonderful. So that's why laughing meditation, so important, so important. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on. If you're laughing at me, brilliant. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. So let me know how you get on in the comments with any of this. Try the 35 day free meditation challenge. Go to the webinar, check the webinar out, see what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And always say I love you at the end of it. So Sarang Hamida.